Hello everyone and welcome back to Warno. There has been a new update that has come out called the, the Ordinate Update. It brings in two new divisions. The new pack division Unter Nehemen Zentrum and a new NATO division called the Berlin Command. Which is classified as a British since West Berlin was as at least administratively attached to North Hag. Another thing that they've added is the amphibious capacity. There's been quality of life improvements regarding the way zones controlled by a player are displayed. It is no longer required to a CV to stay on a zone to control it after it was secured, which is a very, very good quality of life update. Game mode is now displayed in the replays list. The return key now allows to validate some windows, nickname change adding a screen accessible from the lobby displaying detailed information about the map scenario adding a health and morale gauge and units labels improving the available supply remaining supply units label better conquest points distribution between players depending on the number of zones controlled by each one and it's also now possible to change the shortcut for helicopters altitude change amongst a host of other changes including maps updates code fixings, data fixes, etc, 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 etc. So today we are going to be looking at the all new NATO division Berlin Command. Starting off with Logi, we start off with the M35 supply truck. They come in with a whopping 500 supplies per vehicle, 10 units per card for a total of 10. Under them we have the TRM 2000 Logi supply truck. They can also come with 500 supply. They also come with 10 units per card for a total of 10 units. Below them we have the Bedford MJ supply which comes in with a thousand supplies each. There is a total of five units. Below them we have one of the first command units which is the M1025 Humvee. They come with a total of two units. And on the next row we have the M577 CPC. They come with two units in total. On the next row we have the P4PC, the French command vehicle, for a total of three units. And besides them we have the VAB PC, armed with the M2 50 cal machine gun, two units in total. And on the final row we have the Rover CP which has a total of three units. Moving on to the infantry units, we start off with the Prevote infantry squad. They come in a P4 for the mode of transport and are, and are armed with the MAT-49 submachine gun, 12 units in total. Below them, we have the American military police infantry squad. They are armed with the M60 medium machine gun and the M16A2 assault rifles. Their mode of transport is the M998 Humvee, 12 units total. Below them we have the Royal Military Police or the RMP. They come equipped with the L2A3 submachine gun, the FM L1A1 SLR battle rifle and the L7A2 medium machine gun. They come in the Rover for their mode of transportation, 12 units total. Below them we have the Gun Group, which is a British squad. They come equipped with the L85A1 and L7A2 mini machine guns, and they and their mode of transport is the Rover, 9 units total. On the next row we have the Fringe AANF1 7.62mm, which is an AANF1 7.62mm mini machine gun squad. They come in either the TRM2000 truck, or the VAB, armed with the 50 cal Browning M2 machine gun. 12 units per card. On the next row we have the Engineers Leaders. They come equipped with the M16A2 assault rifle and they come in the M998 Humvee as their mode of transportation. 2 units in total. Beside them we have the Engineers, with armed with the M202 flash incendiary rocket launcher. Besides that they also come equipped with the M16A2 assault rifle and their mode of transport is also the M998 Humvee. 9 units in total. And the final one on this row is the Engineer's Dragon. They come equipped with the M16A2 assault rifle and the M47 
Dragon ground to ground missile system and their mode of transport is the M35. Nine units in total. Moving on to the next row we have the M60 7.62mm squad which is a M60 mini machine gun squad. Their mode of transport is the M908 Humvee or the good old UH-1H Chewy aka Iroquois. 12 units total. Besides them we have the M2 50 cal heavy machine gun squad. They come in either the Humvee or the Iroquois. 9 units in total. And below them we have the British MAG 7.62mm medium machine gun squad armed with the L7A2 medium machine gun. Their mode of transport is the Rover. 12 units total. Below them we have the FR Polizei Reserve. They come equipped with the G3A4 battle rifle and the L7A2 medium machine gun. Their mode of transport is the Unimog S404. 12 units per card for a total of 24 units. Starting off the next row we have the L6 Wombat Anti-Tank Squad. They come equipped with the Wombat 120mm tank gun and their mode of transport is the Rover. 8 units total. And beside them we have the Milan 1 Anti-Tank Squad. They can obviously come equipped with the Milan ground to ground missile system and their mode of transport is also the Rover. 8 units per card for a total of 16. Moving on to the next row we have the Rifles Leader. They come equipped with the L85A1 Assault Rifle, L7A2 Mini Machine Gun and the M72 Law Anti-Tank Rocket Launcher. They come in either the Bedford MJ Truck or the FV432 Armoured Personnel Carrier. Two units in total. Next to the Rifles Leader we have the Rifle Squad. They come equipped with the L85A1 Assault Rifle, the L86A1 LSW aka Light Support Weapon and the Law 80 Anti-Tank Rocket Launcher. Their mode of transport is the Bedford MJ Truck. 9 units per card for a total of 27 units. And the final one on this row we have the RAF Rifles. These guys come equipped with the L2A3 submachine gun, the SLR battle rifle and the L7A2 medium machine gun. Their mode of transport is also the Bedford MJ, 12 units total. On the next row we have the Rover Wombat, which is the Rover, I guess you could call it a Jeep, equipped with the Wombat 120mm tank gun. There is a glaring issue with this model, I wonder if you guys at home can see it. But what has happened here is the gun isn't actually sitting in its gun mount, which has been set up in front of well, where the windscreen would normally be. It's actually clipping through the metal support bar that's meant to be supporting the gun. I hope the devs are watching this and uh, proceed to fix this. It's a minor, it's a minor thing, but it's immersion breaking in my opinion. You get 9 of these per card for a total of 18. On the next row we have the Assault Pioneers Leader. They come equipped with the L2A3 submachine gun and have the Bedford MJ as their mode of transport. Two units total. And besides them, we have the Terriers Pioneers. These guys come equipped with the SLR battle rifle, the L4A4, aka rechambered Bren gun, light support weapon, and the satchel charge as their special weapon. They come in the Bedford MJ as well as their mode of transport. Six units total. Below them, we have the Commandant Grenadiers Voltec. Voltigers. These guys come equipped with the FMAS assault rifles and can either come in the TRM-2000 or the VAB armed with the 50 cal machine gun as their main transport. Two units total. Besides them we have the Grenadiers Voltigers. These guys come equipped with the FMAS assault rifle, the AAN-F1 mini machine gun and the LRAC F1 anti-tank rocket launcher. Their mode of transport is either the TRM-2000 truck or the VAB. 9 units per card for a total of 27 units. On the next row we have the Commandant Sapirs. They are armed with the FMAS assault rifle and the AA NF1 medium machine gun. Their mode of transport is the TRM-2000 and there's a total of 2 units. Besides them we have the Sapirs. These guys are armed with the MAT-49 assault machine gun, AA, the AA NF1 medium machine gun and the LFP-54 flamethrower. Their mode of transport is also the TRM-2000, 6 units total. Moving on to the second to last row, we have the Light Rifles Leader of the American faction. 
And these guys are equipped with the M16A2 assault rifle, M249 light support weapon, and the M72 law anti-tank rocket launcher. The mode of transport is either the M1038 Humvee, the M113A3 armored personnel carrier equipped with the M2 Browning submachine gun 50 cal, or the M113A3 Dragon, which is equipped with the 50 cal M2 Browning machine gun and the M47 Dragon ground to ground missile system. Two units in total. And besides them, we have the Berlin Light Rifles. These guys are equipped with the M16A2, M249 light support weapon and the M67 RCL recoilless rifle. The amount of transport is the M1038 Humvee and there is a total of 18 units, 6 per card. And on the final row we have the Milan 2 weapon squad. These guys are equipped with obviously the ground to ground missile Milan 2. The amount of transport is either the P4 VAB or the VAB Milan which is equipped with not only the 50 cal machine gun but the Milan ground to ground missile system. Six units total. Moving on to artillery, we have the L16 81mm squad. They are equipped with the L16 81mm mortar, and their mode of transport is the Rover. Six units in total. Next on the list, we have the MO120 RT61 mortar squad. These guys come equipped with the 120mm RT61 mortar. And their mode of transport is the TRM-2000. Four units total. Next we have the VAB PM-81 which is equipped with the MO-8161C mortar, 82mm, and the AANF-1 medium machine gun. Three units total. Next we have the M125 mortar. The M125 mortar is equipped with the M29A1 81mm mortar and the M2HB 50 cal heavy machine gun. Four units total. Next we have the M106A2 mortar. This comes equipped with the M30 107mm mortar and the 50 cal Browning heavy machine gun. Three units total. On the next row we have the M198 155mm squad. They come equipped with the M198 155mm howitzer and their mode of transport is the M35. Two units per card for a total of four. And finally we have the M109A2 which is equipped with a 155mm M185 howitzer and the 50 cal heavy machine gun. Two units per card for a total of four. Moving on to tanks, we have the F432 Raden. This comes equipped with the L21A1 Raden 30mm autocannon. 12 units total. Next on the list we have the P4 Milan 2 ground to ground missile anti-tank car thing. Nine units total. Below them we have something very similar but it's in the form of the Rover. Nine units per card for a total of 18 units. For all you fans of World of Tanks out there this tank is very familiar to you. This is the AMX 1390 equipped with the CN90 S3 90mm tank gun and the AANF1 medium machine gun. 12 units total. Main battle tank. It's a light tank at, at, at least. Next we have the AMX 30B Commandant. This is equipped with the CM105 F105 mm tank gun, the GART M621 20 mm auto cannon, and the AANF1 medium machine gun. Two units in total. Besides them, we have the AMX 30B with the exact same armaments as the one previously. 12 units total. Below them, we have the M1025 Humvee Tau, which is the Humvee equipped with the Tau 2 ground to ground missile system. 6 units total. Next, we have the M901A3 ITD, which is equipped with the Tau 2 ground to ground missile system. 4 units total. Next, we have the M728 CEB, which is equipped with the M135 165mm tank gun. A 50 cal machine gun and the good old M240 7.62mm medium machine gun. Funny because the picture is the shape of an M60, not an M240. They need to have a look at that. Six units total. On the next row, we have our British tanks in the form of the Chieftain Mark 10 and the Mark 10 Command tank. This is equipped with the L11A5 120mm tank gun. L37A2 medium machine gun and the L8A2 medium machine gun. Two units total. Besides them, we have the Chieftain Mark 10, which is equipped with the exact same armaments as the one before. Six units total. 
On the final row, we have the M1P Abraham CP. This is equipped with the M68A1 105mm tank gun, 50 cal heavy machine gun, and the M240 medium machine gun. Two units total. Next, we have the M1IP Abrams. Again, this has the exact same armaments as the one before, but six units in total. Moving on to reconnaissance, we have the cutest armor car of all time, the Ferret Mark II, which is equipped with the L37A2 mini machine gun. Four units total. Besides them, we have the FB721 Fox, which is equipped with the L21A1 Raden auto cannon 30mm and the L37A2 mini machine gun. Six units total. Below them, we have the American Scouts. These guys are equipped with M16A2 assault rifles and the M60 medium machine gun. <clears throat> they come in either the M113A3 ACAV, armored personnel carrier, the M998 Humvee, the M1025 Humvee M2HB, equipped with 50 cal, or the good old Iroquois, which is also equipped with a M16 medium machine gun. Nine units total. Besides them, we have Detachment A. These guys, these guys are equipped with the MP5 SD submachine gun, 84 anti-tank rocket launchers, and satchel charges. They either come in the M1038 Humvee or the Iroquois as their mode of transport. Four units total. Below them, we have the BGS. These guys are equipped with the MP5A3. The mode of transport is the Unimog S404, the Sonderwagen 4, which is armed with the HK21 medium machine gun, or the good old Iroquois in the form of the UH1D and equipped with the MG3 medium machine gun. Eight units total. Below then we have the French armored car, the AML6012, which is armed with the CM60A1 60mm tank gun and a M2 Browning 50 cal machine gun. Six units total. Next on the list, we have the British Scouts. These guys are equipped with L85A1 assault rifles, L86A1 light support weapon, and the M72 Law anti-tank rocket launcher. Their, their mode of transport is the Rover, or the Gazelle LBH-1. Nine units total. Next on the list, we have the Sonderwagen for Ocolaire. Six units total. Next on the list, we have the French Alette 3 helicopter. Six units total. And finally, we have the Eclairs armed with the FAMAS assault rifle, the AANF1 medium machine gun, the LRAC F1 anti tank rocket launcher. Their mode of transport is the P4 or the Outlet 3. Moving on to AA, we have the 53TP 20mm anti air gun squad. They come equipped with the 53TP 20mm anti air gun, surprisingly. Um, their mode of transport is the TRM-2000 truck, 12 units total. Below them we have the TRM-2000 Tarasque, which has the 53TP 20mm anti-air gun equipped on the flatbed of the vehicle itself, with the gun poking through the wire mesh and into the back of the cabin. Nine units total. Below them, we have the British Javelin Squad. They are equipped with the L85A1 assault rifle and, of course, the surface air missile, missile launcher system, the Javelin. Their mode of transport is the Rover, 12 units total. Below them, we have the American Stinger Squad. These guys are equipped with the M16A2 assault rifle and the Stinger post surface to air missile system. Their mode of transport is M998 Humvee. Six units in total. Below them, we have the French Mistral Squad. These guys come equipped with the FAMAS assault rifle and the Mistral surface air missile system. Their mode of transport is the P4 Jeep. Eight units total. Second to last, we have the M163 Pavads. This is equipped with the M168 Vulcan 20mm Gatling gun. Nine units total. And finally, we have the Javelin LML Squad. These guys are equipped with the Javelin LML, and their mode of transport is the Bedford MJ. Six units total. For helicopters, we have a wide range here. We have the Gazelle AH-1 Rocket. These come equipped with 12 68mm SNEB air-to-ground rockets. Six units in total. And below them, we have the Lynx AH-7 Helarm. These are equipped with eight 152mm ITAL ground-to-ground missiles. Four units in total. And finally, the air units. We start off with the British Harrier GR3AA 
These come equipped with the Aiden 30 30 mm Gatlings and the 4 AIM 9L air to air missiles. Three units in total. Besides then we have the Harrier GR3 Rocket 2 equipped with two Aiden 30 Gatlings 30 mm and 72 68 mm SNEB air to ground rockets. Three units total. Besides them we have the Harrier GR3 Cluster equipped with the exact same Gatling guns but this time equipped with two BL-755 cluster bombs and two AIM-9L air-to-air missiles. Three units in total. And finally on this row we have the Harrier GR-3 HE-1 equipped with the same Gatling guns as the rest of the Harriers but it's equipped with two 450kg Mark 83 bombs and two AIM-9L air-to-air missiles. Next in the row we have the first F 117A Nighthawk that I've ever seen in this game. This has a laser guided bomb which is what the LGB stands for and we have two of those one unit per card for a total of two units. On the final row we have the French Mirage 4 SEAD these come equipped with the these come equipped with two AS-37 Martel anti-rad missiles and six 400 kilogram SAMP T-200 bombs one unit in total and finally we have the Mirage 4 HE which comes equipped with 16 400 kilogram SAMP T200 bombs one unit per card for a total of two well there you go that's all the units that this division offers we're going to go straight into battle I'll see you guys there we are playing destruction on two lakes as you can see when you play destruction game mode you can only play 2v2 you can't play 1v1 so we are going to deploy our first units okay so we're going to start off with a humvee dp yep and we're going to have these guys charge down to here what other units do we have we've got the l61 oh we've got some l61 bats interesting Polizei reserve uh, don't really need those on some uh dragoon leaders yep Boy, all these guys. Yep. We need some helicopters. We've got hell arms. That's fine. I'll pop you there. We are going to go for clusters to begin with. AA, we would like to have the M163 for the time being. Tanks. Let us go for the Amex 1390s to begin with. Three of those because i'm sending this lad over to there let's just make sure that he is so okay, over there okay. mx 1390s these guys are going to move fast to there anti-air you guys move fast over to there you lads are all going to push over to here as well and then we're going to unload all right let's launch battle now with the way the game works now you do not need to keep command units in a captured zone. You can move them out. Once they're captured, they are captured. And the idea is we're going to push the infantry up into that town and have the tanks uh, protect the flank. Any target? The engine is overheating and uh, so back. am I. Have an L that's parked up here. Shot. All right, infantry, building light rifles, push up into town, and we're going to bring in Nighthawk. There's laser guided bombs. Never mind. You can attack that one. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I'm up against an AI medium and an AI easy. I have not played this game since we've last played it on the channel. It's been a while. Fire on position, it was about. Bring up another AA uh, M163 to support these chaps. Bring in some, uh, let's bring in some artillery. Good old M1. 09A2s. Uh, fire in position there. Is it overcall? Yes. Do I care? No. 
Oh, there's a lot of pipe down there. Damn. Alright, let's bring in another one. Fire on position about there, and we're also going to bring in a C-Ad. Fire on this position roughly as well. And we're going to bring up some reconnaissance. We're going to bring up a Fox. About there. Bring up some Grenadiers. Bring up all of them. Pull them in town, and then we're going to push up into the. Bring up a reconnaissance squad. Bring up detach detachment A. We're going to drop them hot right there. Let's bring the dragoon up to the here. Bring up some tanks. Amex 30s. Okay, Chief to Mark 10s. Bring up four. Park them there. T55s is such a shit tank. Oh no, we've lost a Nighthawk. Oh, that's terrible. All right, we're gonna push the Vabs up. No sacrificial. I know it's terrible because we're playing destruction, but we are going to do something like that. Follow me. There we go. I've got the chieftains. The chieftains are also going to push up like so, like so. We're going to bring up some reconnaissance, uh, BGS. You guys there? Rifles leaders, let's also get you guys to move up as well. Follow me. Tank ready. <clears throat> you guys are going to land. You guys are going to fire at will. You guys are going to unload. Going to sell that. You guys are going to push up through these woods. Make sure we haven't missed anything. There's a helicopter. Uh, got shot down, didn't it? Yep. Bring you up to here. I'm 
shit up. Losing Red tanks. Six, mounted up. Enemy nearby. Protect the gun. Bring up some more chieftains. Medic. All the tanks if we can. Good. Sure. Go on control. Fight gesichtet. Ah. Oh. AA is devastating. Es immer auf den Infanteristen und sein Gewehr an. Wir haben Feindkontakt. Wurde aufgeklärt. Wir sind ganz rohr. Ziel der Kämpfe. Where are all my tanks back here? Right, but yeah, you can move up. You need to pull back and Oh, GG. That's the game. I must admit, that was actually quite some fun to play with. Uh, not all the units were what I would have personally chosen, as you guys know from if you've watched my previous videos. I am very much in the camp of everyone needs to have anti-tank rocket launchers, not flamethrowers, because there's no situation in which they are actually useful. Overall, quite fun. Anyway, if you liked the video, remember to drop a, a leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and would like to see more content like this and anything else, consider subscribing. And hit that bell icon to get notifications when I do release a video. As always, I have been your host, Sir Firecat. You have been watching Warno. And until next time, take care.